What it do? Yo, ho, ho, what's up, everybody? What's up? Come on in, Instagram. We got Facebook. Hey, hey, everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How's everyone doing? Good to it's see y'all. It's a you holiday. But we are here. We, we are. are here there we go. on this this labor day. <laughs> Hey everyone! There we go. Are we live what now? Do? What Instagram, up, Instagram, Facebook? Hey, Kristen. We finish each other's sandwiches. sandwiches. Uh, it says, "I speak fluent movie quotes," so just be ready for that. Hey, There's going to hey. be some movie quotage going on tonight. Because <laughs> you know what? We're going to be talking about the truth, right? The What's truth. Up? You can't handle the truth. <laughs> All right, see, it's already starting. Hey, Last Fire. Hey, Beach Man. Hey, Hannah, what's up, everyone? Guess what y'all need to do? Y'all need to share. share. Share this. You need to share it. That's what I'm doing right now. I have my hey, phone hey. in me hand. Can you, um, let's look at comments here. Yes. This way I can actually see. Yes. If you don't know, I have contacts in, but, um... They're not the right prescription, so they so still might help me. It's but hard for her. I can't see that far away. I can't see, see Facebook. Z I can see Instagram. Yeah, she can see, so, but she needs to see <laughs> the comments. She needs to. So be you able guys share if you are ready for unfiltered oh, chat. You guys time. know the drill. If you're ready, drop those coffee cups down below. Let's see we are fixing to go to my page, sweetheart. Okay. Well, sometimes um, it just shows up. We are going to have. An unfiltered chat. We are going to encourage you, but we're also going to do worship. Can we also so, talk about how hot it's, it's been? So hot. Here in you know, Florida. Funny, funny thing, funny thing. I feel like I live in this hat. Every time I'm on live with you guys, I have this hat on. And I pretty much live in it because we're still not back to normal. And that means this hair does not get done every day. Ah. So... We went fishing today. What did yes. you guys do today? Before we jump into encouragement, before we jump into worship, what did y'all do today? We went fishing. We attempted fishing. It's called fishing, <laughs> not getting. So <laughs> luckily, yes. But uh, I'm going to share on that too, in just a second. So I'll do it. Well, you don't. You don't. No, no, no. Okay. Don't, you don't know what I'm doing with that. It's all right. For some reason, my iPad lets me things. share into groups that my phone doesn't let me share into. Yes. So I don't know. But anyway, I'm so, sharing on my page let now. Let me see here. I can see your comments right here. So let me say, hey, if you are new in here, drop a new, hashtag new, yes. down below. I want to say, hey, hey, what is up? We are here for Unfiltered Chat. If you've never been here with us for that and you don't have a clue who we are, the name's Alyssa Holt, Brandon Holt. What, what? We are on here um, four times a week encouraging you to get up off the ground that you have been sitting on for way too long and to move towards destiny. destiny. Oh, what's I up? That. I see all of the news. I can't read because he took my iPad. All right. Elizabeth, what's yes, up? I saw Elizabeth. some more up there. Get we'll that one so I can look at comments. Sorry, We're super excited to be pouring into you tonight. We have some exciting things to talk about afterwards. But I just want to encourage you to um, share this feed because yes. we've got exciting things. We're going to worship. We're going to encourage you. I know that a lot of us, you know, have kind of been chilling today. Maybe maybe you got off of work today and you've been chilling. Um, we've kind of been in that groove and we contemplated, well, are we going to go live? But we decided, you know what? Y'all need worship. We need worship. We you all need, need encouragement worship. just like I need encouragement. Hey, hey, what's up, yo, Emily, yo. Rachel? What's up, everybody? And right, so we are go. going to you dive right. right in to worship. Are you guys here for it? Are you ready? Throw those coffee cups down below. Oh, we got some drums going on right oh. now. I, I don't know what this Okay. Okay. I'm feeling it. We could do that. That's so funny. <laughs> Always need worship. Ever, yes, Harley. I have been to a church before that used the uh, the keyboard drums, and I would just... <laughs> I would rather not have drums. Is that no. all right? Is that, I'm so excited too, Hannah. So excited. 
Hey Emily, hey Kevin. I'm looking through here. What's up to Heather? She's new. I'm excited you're on here. It's 109 degrees in California. No, wow, it's gross. hot here in um, Florida as well. So excited to see that you guys have been relaxing. I'm ready too, Heather Dixon. Really excited. I see all the coffee cups. Here's the deal. I don't know what your situation looks like today. I don't know what kind of thing you're struggling through. I don't know what kind of thing you're trying to, um, I can't wait either. It's going to be awesome. I don't know what kind of thing you're looking at in the face right now, but I can tell you, you don't have to be alone. I can tell you that you can find community right here. I work very hard to create an environment where we can get together four times a week, twice with me on my page and twice with Brandon on his page. We throw podcasts out twice a week. I work so hard to allow you to not have the excuse that you are alone That's in right. the midst of That's your right. mud. I work so hard to make sure that there is nobody on my page that can say, I don't know how I'm gonna get through this hell by myself. I don't know how I'm gonna get through this hell alone. What's up, Canada? I'm so excited you're here with us, Angie. And I wanna just reach through the screen right now and say, I don't know what kind of broken pieces you are sitting in right now, but it's time to get up and build. I don't know what kind of thing you are hurting through right now, what kind of obstacle you are facing in this moment, but life isn't over. Right. It's, it's not over. Your life is not over. I don't care how bad it hurts. I don't care how impossible it may seem. God is in the details. And we're going to get on here and encourage you, but I want us to jump into worship fast real quick. We could just do it, you know, I'll just prophesy like that, that wonderful prophet Michael Jackson did. He said, you are not alone. I am here with you. Anyway, we won't go. That, share this share it share it share it comment you share are it not alone guys we are building community you are not I alone love this we've we started a movement y'all we're going to be talking about it in just a few minutes you so. can't see my shirt up there but oh, we it started, says unfiltered. We've started what? a movement unfiltered Hashtag this unfiltered. is a movement hey listen if you're part of that movement right now if you're part of the coaching Go on and hit that comment, hashtag unfiltered Give us a bunch movement. of the celebration emojis down below if you're part yeah. of the movement. Hit, un, or do hashtag unfilter large you, unfilter you. That's you what I want to say. Yeah. Or give us the celebration, celebration emojis. Whatever you want to do, we don't easy. care. That's easy. <laughs> I just want them to work for you. You got to work. Let I people know, know, right? Let's worship real quick, and then I want to jump into encouraging you, and then we have got some exciting things to announce. So if you're ready for it, give us a hard party. We're going to sing some songs together. Yay, I see somebody that is here with the movement. Really excited. It's Let's sing awesome. something. You ready? All right, here we go. Uh, let's do um, let's do that one. The Lord is my shepherd. Let's do that one. I like that song. You want to do Psalm 23? Yeah. Oh. I like that song. All right. The okay. Lord is Yay. my shepherd. He's my comfort always. 
always guides me. He always guides me. Come on, say through mountains and valleys. Through mountains and valleys. Say his joy is refreshing. His joy is refreshing. Restores my soul. Restores my Oh, you. 
not hold you down. Yeah. You are the risen King. Yes, you are Jesus. You see it right now in majesty. You are the risen King. Because He always guides me yeah. through mountains and valleys His joy is refreshing Come on, declare it restores restores my Yeah. 
broke every chain. Here, I want to tell you this. Here's why I like to declare it past tense. Yeah. Because see, so many times people stay in bondage yep. because they're waiting on Jesus to break the chain. Yeah. When in reality, my Bible says that on the cross, he finished it with three of the most powerful words ever spoken in all Say of history. It. He said, it is finished. Say it again. He said, it is finished. Yeah. Yeah. What that yeah. means for every person who puts it's belief done, done, is that the power of the cross, the power done, of the blood, done, says this, that the chains have been broken. Done, you ain't got to wait on him to break them. They're already broken. You can step out of addiction. You can step out of depression. You can step out of low self-esteem. You can step out of sickness because it is done. It is done. I prophesy over you tonight. I'm telling you, it is done. It is done. In the name of Jesus, he broke every chain. someone tonight there's something that I said last night we were in Orlando and um, we didn't have the opportunity to do worship for a drive-in service and I said that your sound can create a suddenly Ooh, yeah. your sound can create a suddenly in your life I want you to type it down below it is done 
If you're facing something that you've been looking in the face, if you've got a giant in front of you, if you've got an impossibility in front of you, if you've got something staring you down and you don't know how you're going to get through it, abuse, divorce, you've got mental things going on, you've got emotional things going on, you haven't known rest in a long time, you have loss in your life, you have lack in your life, I want you to comment down below, it is done. It is done. Can I tell you, you've got to stop waiting for something to happen and you've got to get an understanding that it is done. Yeah. Jesus doesn't have to come back and finish something that he's already done. Woo. It is <laughs> done. It is finished. Can I tell you, faith without works is what? Dead. But can I tell you that works without words doesn't work? Woo. Faith without works is dead, but works without words to match what it is that you are believing for won't work. The word is very clear that faith comes by hearing and hearing and hearing the word of God, baby. It is done. Well, I don't know how I'm going to pay these bills. It is done. I don't know what I'm going to do. It is done. I don't know how I'm going to see this healing. It is done. I don't know how I'm ever going to know rest. It is done. I can't get my mind to shut down. It is done. Stop speaking all of the things that you see and start walking by faith and not by sight. Listen to me. The name of Jesus. The name of Jesus is greater than the name of divorce. Than the name of that person who walked out on you. Than the name of that addiction. Than the name of that disease. Ooh. Than the name of that unpaid bill. Than the name of that abuse. Jesus' name is greater. And he said, it is done. You can do all the working. And all of the striving. And all of the pushing and all of the plowing and all of the running that you can do in tradition and ritual and religion and what people say to do. But can I tell you, if your words don't match up to the work that you're putting into this, nothing is going to happen because words create belief systems. It is done. And that's what you need to start declaring. I refuse to let you go to bed tonight with a mentality that you've got to wake up tomorrow to hell. I refuse to let you go to bed tonight with the mentality that you are depressed, that you're swallowed up in fear, that you're swallowed up in guilt. Listen to me. Stop replaying that thing in your head that you feel like you've got to justify that you feel like finished your destiny. You, you, you keep on replaying this thing, saying, man, if I would have just done things different, if I would have not gotten with that person, if I would have not taken that thing and done that thing and got addicted to this or whatever it is, and you keep replaying it in your head as a guilt trip, as a punishment system for why you cannot walk in more than what you have. Stop replaying it. I want you to push stop on it right now. Comment down below. Push stop on it right now. Push stop on it right now. Delete it. Quit replaying it. It is done. There is nothing you can do that is too dirty for God to use. There is nothing. And we hear this thing. Let me tell you something real quick. I feel like I'm really low. So I'm going to sit up a little bit. I feel like in church, okay, I'm a PK, a PK that ran from the call on my life for so long because I heard over and over again, there's nothing you can do that's too dirty for God. God can use the unqualified. But yet every time I walked into church, into church I felt too dirty. If you've been there, give me a heart party. Every time I walked into church, I felt judged. Every time I walked into church, I felt like I needed to put my face on, my mask on. I needed to feel 
filter the thing that was painful. I needed to filter the thing that was disqualifying me from what God has for my life. And I never thought that I could truly own the fact that God yeah. overcame the thing that is overcoming me at the moment. <laughs> Can I tell you right now? <laughs> Jesus overcame Everything. the thing Ooh. that is overcoming you right now. <laughs> what does that mean? That means that you don't have to find it in your power to overcome the thing that's overcoming you. Why? Because it is done. Why? Because Jesus, Jesus nailed it to the cross the moment that he said it is done. It's already dead. The thing that is overcoming you. It's not your job to try to figure out a way to overcome it. Come on. You know what your job is? Right here, your words. It is time for you to start speaking it's done. No more am I going to allow this thing to take my life from me. No more am I going to allow this abuse. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This, this fool that keeps on abusing me and manipulating me to stay, it's time for me to say it is done. I'm getting up and I'm leaving. No more am I gonna sit in poverty thinking that this is the best that God has for me. It is done. I am prophesying creative ideas right now into your life. I am prophesying doors of opportunity. I am prophesying the ability to get up and move towards something more than what you allowed yourself to accept. It is time to say it's done sitting in depression. I get that depression is a real thing. I had to take antidepressants for a while. It's a real thing. But there was a moment I had to say it's done. The spirit of depression is not of God. It is done. No more am I going to rely on medicine more than I rely on the name of Jesus to get me through my day. And you know what I began to do? I began to declare peace in my mind. I I began to declare that my emotions would level out. I began to declare that it is done. Jesus said it. I believe it. That settles it. And the more I began to speak it, faith comes by hearing and hearing the word. I began to believe it. And the more I began to believe it, God began to do a healing process Because listen, you can't get anything in your life without belief. Nobody can believe in you enough for you to get up off the ground and do something with your life. That's why there are literal people who could be millionaires right now and they're homeless because they couldn't get out of addiction. They couldn't believe in their self. They couldn't stop doing the thing that they were doing. They they couldn't get up and do something with their life because they didn't believe in them. There were people that believed in them. They had the talent. They had the gifting. Can I tell you, you can have everything. But if you don't believe in yourself, you have nothing. It's time to start believing. Come on, believe again. In what God has for your life. And it starts right here. Faith without works is dead. But works without words of faith mean nothing. Works without words of faith mean nothing. That's so true. And I want to ask you, what are you doing? What are you doing to create an environment in your right now for you to grow? What are you doing to get up off of the ground you've been sitting on for decades? To get out of mindsets that have been built inside of your DNA. You were raised in environments. Environments can be caught and environments can be taught. (laughs) Ah. Somebody can come into the room with a bad attitude and all of a sudden you are pissed off. It can be caught. But environments can also be taught. Yep. 
There's something that are learned behaviors in your childhood, learned behaviors in the ways that you were raised and the things that you were around, baby. It's time to start breaking cycles on mindsets and habits and rituals and ideals and belief systems and the things that are keeping you from moving forward. It's time to break ties with people who are not for you, but are against you, and you keep on letting them into your life over and over and over again, and they are like dead weight to your, to your destiny. It's time to let them go. But you don't understand, Alyssa, I care about them so much. Listen to me, you have a responsibility to protect your anointing. You have a responsibility to protect the destiny that God has on your life. And it is one thing to give time into somebody's life to minister to them, but it is another thing to allow somebody to suck time out of your life and the ministry that God has for you. You can be there for them, you can pour into them, but don't you dare allow people to suck your destiny out of your purpose and your life. You have a responsibility to protect yourself, to protect your anointing, your destiny, because you do have purpose. I, want, I just want to help, man. I just hear the Holy Spirit say this right now. Some of you yeah. love, and listen, you've been around super spiritual people, and, and you've heard all these little coin terms, right? Like, generational curses, right? And so we blame all of the mess that you're dealing with, all, all your past. issues, all your guilt, shame, and past, and the way you can't all of get our over past things. is because of people. Oh, and it's all, oh, we've got generational curses. No, can I tell you something? You've got learned behaviors. Behavior. The reason you're going to have the yes. same kind of health that your parents had is because you learn how to eat from them. The same way yes. you're going to have the same emotional health that your mama and your daddy got is because you learn how to react to stuff from them. Yes. It ain't no spirit. It's your head. You hear what I'm telling you? And some of you have given the devil so much power. You want to blame him for everything. I want to help you tonight. Yeah. Are you ready for this? The devil can only have as much power in your life as you give him. Say you, it. Listen to me. You ain't demon possessed. You just <laughs> oppressed because you keep thinking on the same negative crap all the time. You keep opening the gates to your yeah. mind, to your mind, soul, Say and emotions, it. to Say the soulless it. realm Say of your life. It. And you keep watching the same stuff. You keep listening to the same stuff. You keep saying the same stuff. And you want to blame the devil. Well, baby, let me tell you, it's time to take the responsibility for yourself and say, I'm going to put up a gate. I'm not going to let this lie That's continue right. in my mind. Yes. I'm not going to let the devil think he won because he ain't got no power. Right. He is powerless. The That's only right. power he can have over you is the power that you let him have. So I wish somebody would raise up and say, I'm not going to let it it's happen done. anymore because it's Jesus done. said it is finished. It's done. It's done. And I'm going to tell you something. You, you, listen, listen. I, I'm going through this myself. Do you know how hard it is to freaking wake up every day? For years, I have said, oh, I'm wired. I'm a night person. I'm not a morning person. And now I've been forced to be a morning person to have to get up between 5.30 and 6 a.m. to get our girls to school. And every day, I push myself to go to the gym to work out for almost an hour. Yeah. And let me tell you how easy it would be for me to give excuses and come up with some reason why I can't do it. No, I got to a place where I said, I'm sick of being fat. I'm sick of being unhealthy. I'm tired of not feeling good. And I'm not going to blame all these other issues and all these other reasons. Oh, well, my legs hurt. Oh, well, my back hurts. Oh, I'm just too tired. I'm not a morning person. No, it's bull crap. And you've bought into the lie. Yeah. And until you start saying, no, you <laughs> cannot control my mind anymore. I say, go back to hell where you came yeah. from, shut the hell up in my head, yes. and I'm going to release the glory that says I am the righteousness of God. Yes. I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength, and there ain't no devil or demon in hell that can stop it when I put my sanctified, righteous mind to it in Jesus' name. Yes.
Woo! Man, they got me fired up. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Because tomorrow, guess what? I'm going to wake up. We've taken three days off from lift or from working out, and I'm telling you, I'm going to be hurting in the morning. I'm going to be wanting to come up with excuses, but guess what I'm going to say? Devil, hell no. I'm not going to let hell leave my mind today. I say no to hell, right? Heaven, yes, and hell, no. I'm not going to let it happen. Why? Because I know on the other side of that workout, there's freedom. Woo. On the other side of that workout, I actually feel good. Harley. What she said? She said, y'all got me up off the couch. Come on, Harley. <laughs> Listen, we want to encourage you. This is not the end of you. This is just the start. You don't have to stay where you are. That's it. There is nothing, nothing, nothing that can keep you where you are except for you. Except for you. There is nothing too broken that can't be fixed unless you refuse to build again. There is nothing too painful that God can't use unless you don't believe in yourself the purpose he has for you, the plan he has for you. What are you doing to pursue that promise? Yeah. And I want to tell you today, promise isn't later. Stop waiting for tomorrow when today is here. Stop waiting for tomorrow when today is here. You can't get to your next until you deal with your now. And the more you wait for later, the more you'll begin to see that nothing is happening for you because you got to start right now, right here. Promise isn't waiting for you. Promise is right now underneath your feet. But the thing is, is that we have been conditioned to wait. That's it. Woo. We have been desensitized to promise because we're constantly waiting for it. We're waiting for that thing. We're waiting to see that answer. We're waiting to hear God's voice. We're waiting to get direction. We're waiting for promise to come. And it is a constant sermon, a constant song, a constant revival slogan. Promise is on the way. And it has become this thing that we are so desensitized to because we don't believe that it's really ours right now. That's it. We don't believe it. It's time to start believing that God isn't waiting for something to happen. It's right now. The problem is, is you don't believe. So who are you connected to? Who are you partnering with that can grab you by the hand and say, I'm not letting you stay where you are. I'm pulling you through this hell. Come on. And we're going to find some destiny right now. I'm not going to let you sit down in pain. I'm not going to allow you to sit down in brokenness. I'm done allowing you to make excuses. I'm picking you up and I'm here to say, if you don't have that person, I'm right here. Yeah. I create these platforms right here. Four times a week, Brandon and I are live to give you opportunity to get back up. Tomorrow... Tell them, tell them about it. Tomorrow, this. I am launching a coaching course called Unfilter You. Unfilter You, where we're going to go through my book, Unfiltered, and we are going to take each other's hands. For 35 days straight, I'm going to be in your life. I'm going to be sending you videos, resources, prayer initiatives. I'm going to be helping you dig through your dirt. I'm going to be picking you up off the ground. I'm going to be showing you how to pursue promise. We're going to have weekly coaching sessions. You're going to have daily contact with me. And we're going to go through this thing. And we're going to unfilter our dirt. And we're yeah. going to embrace destiny. And it starts tomorrow. It starts tomorrow. If you want in on this, I still have availability. I've got a link right here. You need to go check out my website. 
You need to sign up. We start tomorrow morning. You're going to start receiving things. Yay! I see people on here who are already signed up. They are excited to go. And they've already, already been getting stuff all, all day already today. today. Come on, somebody. So you guys get in on this. It's going to be life-changing. You're going to get at the end of this five weeks. And I believe with all of my heart, you are going to see growth, healing, and destiny clearer than you've ever seen it before. It's not in me. Well, Alyssa, how can you know that? Because it's not about me. It's about him. And I know that because he never fails. I know that because he took me through the process. Yeah. I know that because he is the same yesterday, today, and forever. I know that because this book and the things that I'm taking you through are not my words. They are the Father's words. I know that because this is deeply rooted in the truth of the gospel. Not the truth of religion. Not in the, not in the truth of churched people and ritual and tradition. I can tell you I am so done with that. It Come didn't on, do anything with, for me. It didn't do anything for me. I'm ready to get people free with the name of Jesus. And so if you want to be a part of this, we start tomorrow. Go check it out. It's down below in the link. I am so excited to start. Hey, listen, we are going to be um, on here Wednesday morning for our prayer call. You don't want to miss it. 8 a.m. Tomorrow night, we're going to be on here for worship. Thursday night, we're going to be on here for worship. Tuesday and Thursday, we have podcasts. Guys, we have created content for you all the time to help you not stay where you are. And listen, this is our desire. You know why? Because somebody poured into us. Somebody helped us get back up. Somebody was a voice in our life who helped tell us, hey, don't stay down. You got more in you than this. You don't have to be defeated. You are victorious in Jesus. We still have a pastor who speaks into our life, who, who can tell us the hard things that sometimes yes. we don't want to hear. The unfiltered truth, not the fluffed up, make me feel good, so good that I never change. And I just want y'all to know, man, I'm so proud of this chick right here, y'all. Listen, the work she's put into this is unbelievable. Hours upon hours. She's got this thing where you get reminds. It sends you all your devotion. She's got journal topics. She's teaching you how to work teaching through you habits. your mess. Habits. Yes, habits that brought healing to her. You're going to get a video every day for a devotion and encouragement. You're going to get the weekly uh, uh, sessions on Tuesday nights at 9 that nobody else gets. And I know some of you going, man, you know, y'all should have made this for free. Well, let me tell you something. We give all this for free. We come in when we don't have to, four times a week, sometimes yep. even more. And we sing our guts out. We You've pour our guts out. You've got podcasts for free. You've got lives for All free. Of that. Worship sessions for free. I want to see people who want to take it coached. to another level, who want to be coached, who are sick of sitting and staying, being stuck in that same position that they were last year. And seeing this. Listen, some of you people are dating the same spirit with a different face, and you don't know how to break that <laughs> connection because you don't understand that there's a deficiency inside of you. You've never had anybody look at you and tell you that you're better than that, you're worth more, and you end up getting into the same relationship, the same marriage, and you <laughs> think it's going to produce different results. Yes. You deserve better than that. Yes. And that's what she's going to do. She's going to show you from every aspect. And guess what? You should want to invest in that. Because I'm going to tell you, I don't have any respect for people who will go invest in fast food and eating out every week, well, but won't invest in their mental and their, their emotional health. Come on. And this is bigger than me. This is about you. This isn't about me. This is about you. Investing in your spiritual life, investing in your destiny, investing in your purpose, investing in the fact that you have more to offer than to stay on repeat and and repeating cycles and mindsets and habits and lifestyles and yep. and pain because you don't know how to get out of it. Ooh. And I'm saying, I'm taking you by the hand and saying, I've been through hell 
and I want to help you get through it. Yeah. Because the flames that you are going through right now can be utilized to melt the filters off of your life so that you can come out on the other side unfiltered, unashamed, and unapologetic, walking in your destiny, not afraid of your past, not afraid of your story, not afraid of the things you had to walk through because you know that it had purpose in it from the very beginning. God never, it was it didn't take God by surprise. God knew it was written, written into the fabric of your story. And he already knew from the beginning that he was going to use it to create the destiny that he had for your life. So I just want you to know you can get in on this. Go sign up. It's down there below. Listen, I made a post. I'm going to say it live so you can all have it recorded. I'm telling you this. If you're worried and you're scared and you're, you know, you think the money's an issue, listen, it's a hundred dollars for five weeks of one-on-one -on -one connection with Alyssa telling you that you can be set up to see greatness in your life. You don't have to stay where you're at. And giving you tools to continue when this right. thing ends. And she all these tools she's created. It looks like it looks like a million dollar company made all this stuff. It's so I mean <laughs> she's so amazing. But I'm but telling you. But we also you this. have a fifty dollar option as well. Yeah, we call it the light. All right. Some of you signed up for the light. That's you get five of the Tuesday night sessions. All right? You have you access the, to that. You get the devos and you get the uh, no, you get the the yeah. resources. Yeah, the, the resources. Yeah, the worksheets, and then you get the sessions. But listen, here's what I want to tell you, all right? If you're worried about it, I'm going to pull an old uh, infomercial trick right here, all right? And I mean <laughs> this because this is how much I believe in what she's doing. But if at the end of this five weeks, you sign up for this course and you do this thing and you put your 100% your, uh, effort into doing this, and at the end of it, you go, Brandon, I did all the journaling. I listened to all the devotions. I was part of every Zoom call. I heard everything Alyssa has to say, and I'm leaving this thing, and nothing's really changed for me. I've not learned anything. I don't feel like I'm any better than I was before I started. If you don't get a $1,000 worth of value out of a $100 investment, I, before God, hand to the Lord, I'm telling you right now, we will go joyfully <laughs> refund every penny of your money, and I'll throw an extra 10 in just to bless you so that you have some type of blessing in your life, because if you can go through this and not get nothing, you need some blessing in your life, all right? You need, you need some Jesus. So that is the Brandon Holt stamp guarantee, take it to the bank, money back. Yes. For real guarantee. Yes. But I'm telling you, some of you need this. Yeah. Some of you are going to walk out of this thing in five weeks and your minds are going to be blown because you're going to work through things that you've been dealing with for years and have I, no I believe, clue yeah, I'm, I believe that, that God is going your to reveal, reveal things that you've been covering up for so long, you've forgotten that it's there. Uh, somebody down here in, in Instagram said, do we have to buy the book? Yes, yes you do you'll have need to the buy book the book. Because we will be going through the book together. Listen, you can get the book on Amazon. You can get the book on Kindle. Um, you can get it on our website. Whatever you choose to do. And if you go we'll and buy it, if you it. sign up tonight and buy it, we will get it out to you first thing in the morning yeah. and get it to the mail so you can have it, all right? Yeah. But. Listen, we love you guys. We pray blessings over you and overflow into your life. I pray that you do not go to sleep tonight worried and consumed yeah. with fear, but that you remember you don't have to overcome the thing that's overcoming you. Woo. Jesus already overcame. Now listen, we do this by faith. If we blessed you, if you've been blessed by this ministry, our cash app's down below. This is what we do for a living. And uh, every bit of our partners, I just want to say a thank you. You can partner with us. Sign up to be a partner on our website down below. We love you guys. I just sent out our monthly newsletter to our partners today to let you know what's happening. If you partner with us, you get a monthly newsletter now letting you know behind the scenes secrets that everybody out here don't know. 
and um, I'm really excited about that. So go partner with us. We love you guys for it. Oh, you we just got a ministry. new partner. Whoop, whoop. Come on, Elena Dorns. God bless you. She signed up to be a $25 gold partner, man. We're going to get you your... Uh, your, your newsletter, newsletter out today. tonight. Let you know what's yes. up. Hold on, we got. We love you guys. Oh, Janet Mendoza <laughs> just signed up from Dallas, Texas. She's part of the Unfilter You Coaching. Yay. Come on! Woo. So excited! Listen, every bit of money that's poured into us, we pour back into the kingdom. Yes. Not only do you help us during this crazy season. Um, with our bookings shutting down and stuff, but you also help us create what it is that God's put on our heart to pour into y'all. And we are so excited about things that are coming the end of the year that we can't quite say yet, but there is a lot of fun stuff. We are giving a little bit of those secrets out in our newsletter this month to our partners though. And, um, we're excited. We're excited about what God is doing. We're excited about what God's doing in your life. And we pray rest and peace and an overflow in your life in Jesus' name. I will see you guys Wednesday. Um, tomorrow night, actually. Tomorrow night, yes, for worship on Brandon's page. I'll see you Wednesday morning on my page. And my podcast is going to be a little late tomorrow. Um, I didn't get a chance because I was gearing up for Unfilter You. It took more priority for me than the podcast. Ah. Um, but podcast will be out tomorrow afternoon. It won't go out at 2 o'clock in the morning like it normally does. But it will be out tomorrow in the afternoon. And I'll post it to my story. So be on the lookout. I love you guys. Be blessed. Love you guys. We'll talk to you guys later by Instagram. Peace out. We'll see you soon. Go sign up. Get in the coaching right now. Brandon and Alyssa. Life. Bye. Love y'all.